city God of one, one believes God is a white man, one believes a black man. The power <laughs> to deal with a real Qul hu Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufu wa ahad. How do you how do you get that sort of class and say that God is Elijah Muhammad? <laughs> well, I believe some of you talk about him as the child with one eye in his forehead. That's not that child. <laughs> you really <laughs> because I have one, one eye in his forehead. In your <laughs> understanding, he assumes a lot of things. Yeah, well, <laughs> and the Islamic scholars are guilty of the condition no, of where the world of Islam is today. Islam today is dominated by the West. Mm. Most of the Muslims today, they are trying to run out of the East into the West to come here to get education. But you have the Holy Quran. Right, brother. You want to come here to get a better place in life, but you have the Holy Quran. Right, tell the truth. You want to come mm -hmm. here. Follow the Quran, brother. The West oh, is so wonderful. Yeah, well, I but follow you the Quran. Have the Holy Quran. You contradict the teaching of the Quran. Follow it. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Prophet said, they peace be upon him. Three generations did, did. after me shall not be of me. The Prophet predicted your deviation. And today, all of you, you talk from your mouth what you don't do in action. Today, you are hypocrites. And you are far removed from the Sarat al Mustaqim. You are nowhere near yeah. the straight path yeah. of Almighty God. And you are? And we would be fools to follow you. Right. We mm -hmm. would be foolish to follow you. Have... You know, it's a wonderful thing that happened the other day. What happened? Thanks, thanks praise be <laughs> to the atheist Chinese who were able to bring the Sunni and the Shia, no no Saudi more. Arabia yeah, and Iran together. But you couldn't do it by yourself. You needed some atheist Chinese to get your raggedy backsides together to stop killing each other in the name of America. Stop killing each other in the name of the West. And so we congratulate you on that move. And we say to the Muslims in Saudi and in Iran and in the Arab world, you better come together because you have taken Satan as, a, as an advisor. You think that Satan is under the ground. Let me tell you something. Satan wears in striped suits. Satan drives in the back of Bentleys with chauffeurs. Like Satan one. lives in the top hotels and the top mansions of this world. Oh, wow. Satan is a man. And you will find out very soon with your spooky religion. Uh -oh. We don't believe in no spooks. We understand who the devil is. And the devil has got nuclear weapons. But guess what? Almighty God Allah makes his nuclear weapons look like toys. Because he's got weapons too. Understand? We will we'll, we'll, we'll go deeper into this Later. on another day. Can we ask questions? Uh, in a minute. Okay, thanks. But suffice to say, the war is very real. And it's going to ill affect most of the planet. Because the Caucasians, they don't know how to make mischief and keep it to themselves. The First World War was a European tribe, but they involved the whole world. They then you fight me for the then you start fighting me because I smite the guy. The second world war was another been European world. Tribal. But once again they spread it to the entire planet. That is just a nation of Islam, but they're not Muslim. Nation of Islam is evil is not so do they believe, confined to himself. Can you believe that God is a man? He yeah. has to spread it the to everybody else. Yeah. He has to rope everybody in. He has to convince you to be with him, to be with him. Allah warns us in the Holy Quran. About shirk. Walk not in the footsteps of the devil. <laughs> See, the devil has got footsteps. And you're following them. Might be a metaphor. Don't follow him. 
Oh, In the Holy Quran, Allah says, the devil promises you only to deceive. Mm-hmm. And Allah promises oh, a truth. And so, in conclusion, brainwash. it is important. Those of you who have got family in other parts of the world, get in touch with your family members because if we got this color, if you're brown, if you're yellow, we may have to leave here in a hurry. Yellow, yeah. Because it's going to get very bad. And you don't know Caucasians and Europeans. Let me go there. Until they're at war. Sorry, sorry, sorry. They're, not, they're, they're not the same people when the war breaks out. And if you remember in Ukraine at the beginning, when Putin went in, they were stopping black students, black people from getting on trains, from getting on buses. These were students who went there to study. But all of a sudden they were confronted by racism from these neo-Nazis whose nature came out. Well, the Caucasian, when pressure is applied, his mask slips. And you're about to see the real shaitan. You're about to see the real enemy who is not a spook, but is the one who currently controls the planet. But not for long. His days are numbered. Almighty God Allah has promised us our Makti. And the Makti is not to come. The Makti is present. And the Makti is the one who will break the power of Shaitan. But the Makti is a man. Understand this. You, you, you stop the spooks. The Mahdi is a man who is empowered by Allah to crush the wicked. And the Mahdi, when he comes, he is with the one you call Jesus or Christ. And they are not to come, they are present. And I, I, I'll just tell you the truth. We know them. And they're with us. And, and, and I know... What, you mean you black people, you know the Mahdi? Oh, you mean to tell me that Allah would come to you? Yes. This is, this is, the Arabs, 1400 years ago, they were torturing Bilal. Because he was a black Ethiopian. Because they were racist. And that's why the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, 80 days before his departure, there is no superiority of the Arab over the non-Arab. There is no superiority of the white over the black and vice versa. Because he had to say that because racism had already raised its ugly head in the Arabian Peninsula. And to this day, there are some racist Arabs who call themselves Muslims, but they look down on people like me True. Let me tell you something. True. You may look down on me, but I feel all wrapped up in the bosom of Allah. I know that Allah loves me, and I'm just I'm just one of the little baby students in the nation of Islam, trying to do no, but, my uh, prayer. Where? Where? Trying to fast. Sorry. Sorry. Where? Trying to pay Here. the poor rates. Well, I'm going to go speak to them. Trying to yeah, be like... a decent human being. So I thank you. Thank you for allowing us these few moments to share some words with you. It's a warning, good news at the same time. If you will submit your will to do the will of God, if you would do unto other human beings as you would have done unto yourself, if you would be decent, if you would be moral, upright, kind, Allah will bless you. And we can extricate ourselves from this destructive process that is in play now. And so, thank you. May Allah bless you as I greet you, as I found you in the greeting words of peace. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar.
to lecture me, you're standing in the wrong place. If you came out here today to ask a question, and if it be the will of Allah, I will try to the best of my ability to answer your question, you're standing in the right place. If you think it's gonna be a back and forth argument, you're making a terrible mistake. I will ignore you like you were elite on the ground. Understand me, I'm making it very clear. If you don't want to be here, if you think we're a bunch of idiots and fools and non-Muslims and we're practicing shirk and we're just a bunch of idiots, the intelligent thing for you to do is to go where the wise people are. You make yourself look a fool to come among fools and waste your valuable time. Does that make sense? And so with that, I will take the first question. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, thank you. I've, I've listened to you for about a good 25 minutes. There's a lot of facts that you speak. Yes, um, There's a lot of what? A lot of facts yes, sir. that you speak. I appreciate that um, when it comes to the war between the West and Russia. Uh, but that's not really my concern. Uh, I'm a Muslim myself. Uh, I've come to Istanbul 10 years ago. I just wanted to ask you a question. Can you speak up a bit? Yeah, if you can come closer, please. Yeah. Uh, so basically, in a nutshell, I want to know how you guys, the Nation of Islam, do not contradict Surah Ikhlas. Because Surah Ikhlas is very clear. It, is that, it says that Allah is one. He is self-sufficient. He does not beget, nor is he begotten, and there is nothing like unto him. So do you not realize that you are sharing an attribute of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when it comes to his Asma wa Safat, with Elijah, Muhammad, or whoever it is for that matter, where you are claiming, because you're praising Allah, which is good. I'm, I, was, I was saying the same thing when it said Takbir, I was saying Allah Akbar. But when it comes to Elijah Muhammad, you guys claim to be a Muslim when you're going to, when you are contradicting the very foundation of Islam, which we come and preach to the Christians that God is not a man, not a white man or a black man. So can you please just answer my question? You said you don't want to have it that understandable, but can you please just tell me, how do you reconcile both? I, I, I understand your question. And it's a beautiful question, and I thank you very much for the spirit in which you ask that question. But I will say this, when we ask a question, we should be intelligent enough to listen to the answer. Yeah. We should never ask a question with a preconceived notion, or we believe that we know already in that, oh, we're just a bunch of fools, so now you're going to mock and you're going to want to jump in. Let me say it like this to you. We agree with Surah Ikhlas. Say that Allah is one God. He's all independent. He begets not, nor is he begotten. And there is none comparable unto him. We agree 100%. Okay. The creator of the heavens and the earth, the originator, he was not begotten. He is self-created. He creates everything. So he's neither begotten nor does he beget? You, you, we agree. Yeah. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 1,400 years ago, went into a cave. And while in that cave, he heard a voice saying, Ikra, read in the name of thy Lord. The Prophet said he looked, and in all four corners he saw a man. Are we agreed? Okay. He saw a man. That man we call Jibril or the angel Gabriel. The prophet Muhammad one day is walking with the companions. A man comes to him dressed in white. The man stops him and asks him questions about the faith of Islam. The prophet answers the question. The man walks away. The prophet turns to the companions. Do you know who that was? They said, no. He said, that's Jibril. Amen. Jibril is the one who through him 
Almighty God Allah reveal the Holy Quran. Make sense? Yep. Okay. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he never said, I am the Prophet of Jibreel. Okay. I am the Prophet of Allah. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was an unlearned man. Couldn't read, couldn't write. Looked down upon by many. There were people who knew him when he was a child growing up. I think they call it Alameen because he was a beautiful human being. But nonetheless, he was not somebody who was regarded highly in the society. In fact, when he married Khadija, it was Khadija who basically paid his way because he had not the resources and that kind of money. So this is not a man that was, you know, people are looking up to him. In fact, when he said, I am the messenger of Allah, he was persecuted. I want you to think about some of your attitudes today. See, because they accused the prophet of blaspheme because they were worshiping stones and bricks and snakes and milk in the Kaaba, all manner of idols. But the prophet came and said, as a man, I am the messenger of Allah. But he's a lowly man, unlearned man. Can you get a wide view from there? See, we've got to understand, man. This is how Allah works. Who is Musa? Why is Moses mentioned more in the Holy Quran than any of the prophets, even the prophet Muhammad himself? Moses said he heard the voice of Allah speaking to him through a burning bush. Moses speaks to Allah. Allah speaks to Moses. Moses is nervous, he's scared. He says, who shall I say sent me? He says, tell him, tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. In other words, I exist, I am real. Look, man, I say it to you like this. You gotta listen very carefully to the language of the nation of Islam. We believe, now I want you to imagine for a second that you are ignorant, that you don't know nothing. Maybe you're sitting over there, you've got a, 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 a chin of tenants, you're spaced out, <laughs> and, and Brother Leo comes to you, that's me, I'm Brother Leo, I come to you, and I say, my brother, how are you? You know, what's happening, man? You say, man, I'm down, I haven't got nothing, whatever. And I speak to you for a few hours about the beauty and the majesty and the love of God. And you become inspired from that little talk and you get up and you go and you do your shahada and you become a beautiful Muslim and your life changes. Whether you understand this or not, Allah came to you in the person of Leo Muhammad. Not that I am Allah. Allah uses human beings. Okay. Allah don't do magic. He don't do spooks. Yeah, okay. He comes to men and women through men and women. In the Holy Quran, Allah said, had you been an angel, I would have sent you an angel. Okay. But because you're a man, the prophet went about in the marketplace eating food like everybody else. He got sick like everybody else. At the battle of Badr, he got wounded like everybody else. Allah didn't do magic and save him. Okay. When they were hunting him, the, the Quraysh, trying to kill him, and he went into that little cave and the spider made the web. It, it was only, that was Allah, but, but not magic. Mm. The prophet was in danger of dying. The companions had to flee to Ethiopia, to the black people in Africa, to, for asylum, when they wanted to kill them. This is how Allah works. So all I'm saying to you, we understand the Muslims, when they get angry with us, because they believe that we're practicing shirk, I can assure you we're not doing that. We know that Allah is incomparable. But guess what? Guess what? Did you know that there's not another human being on this planet with your fingerprint? Yeah. Do you understand that there's not another human being on this planet with the same dimensions of your retina? Yeah. Or anything to do with you? Do you know that one side of your face is completely different to the other? Oh yes, sir. That means that you are unique, okay. incomparable. Hmm. But the Muslims, we take it to such an extreme hmm. where Allah cannot be comprehended. If you can't comprehend Him, hmm. you can't worship that which you cannot comprehend. Okay. No, you can't. Look, look. Okay. Believe me. Okay. It's such a theory. 
The reason why so many of us are in trouble today, man, is because we're bowing down and we're praying for nothing. We don't believe that Allah has substance, has power. Look at what this white man's got. Have you seen his weapons? Okay. What if I told you hmm. that all my... Look, how can I explain this to you? See this? Got some electricity in it, right? Hmm. There's no scientist on the planet that can show you the origin of electricity. Okay. That's why sometimes you can touch something and you get a little spark. Yeah. Because it's all around. It's awesome. It's, it's one of the most mysterious powers yeah. in the universe. You and I are run on electricity. Yeah. This brain is electric. It's awesome. It's firing right now. Neurons and neutrons. It's, it's phenomenal. Okay. I've got electric in me. This has got electric in it. This is not electricity or the origin or the source of electricity. Okay. Allah puts himself wherever he pleases. He can go into a man. That's shirk. No, it's not shirk. This is what I'm saying to you. Look, look, look. Do you believe that the earth is divine? No. You don't? No. Well, Allah says it. Where? It's divine. Where? Oh, yes, sir. Where? Where? Sir, look, it is creation. Where? Everything that Allah, everything of Where? Allah's creation is divine. What's your name, Brother Leo? Leo, Leo Muhammad, yes. Sir. Yeah, but Brother Leo Muhammad, just, just to touch up. Hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second. Let me, let me just finish the point. Okay. Sorry. I don't want to go too far because me personally, I think I've made my point. I, I would just say to you, study. See, that instruction to the Prophet Ikra, it wasn't just to the Prophet. It's to all of us. As many of us today, we walk with the Holy Quran. The book says they put the book behind their backs. Yes. And we listen to the Sheikh, we listen to the Mullahs, we listen to the so called scholars, and we are left absolutely messed up. I'm saying, dear sir, dear brother, go and study for yourself and understand that it is not sure to understand that Allah is the influence of men and women. It's fine. Influ Allah influence is fine. power. When I come out here, I don't come out here with no spook God. My God walks not just by my side, in me, around me. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. You know, you know. But, but it's, uh, that's the difference. See, look. But that's, see, what's shit. that's what we disagree. That's what I'm saying. So this is where we have to disagree. But, but, but this is the point. This is what we believe. But where's your evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah? No, 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 I understand. No, no, because you need to bring evidence because, no, 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 that's, because that's, 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 I, I, I agree with you. Sorry, brother. You know what Allah says in the Quran? When you threw, it wasn't you that threw, it was me. That's right. I understand. That's right. I understand the influence. I understand no, the human no, no, shayateen. No, 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 but, but, you you're say, that, but, but you're saying you, Allah is within us. No, 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 but if you understand that, hmm. see, the, the, the Christ, hmm. the Christ, yeah. he causes lame people to walk. He causes dumb people to speak. He causes the blind to see. By Allah's permission. Good. Right. Agree. Not, Agree. Yeah, but not spooks. No, I know. Agree. Allah is moving that man. Allah is in control of that man. Yes. Thank but you. Allah is not that man. No, Allah is in that man. No, that's true. No, but that's what I'm saying to you. This is what I'm saying to that's you. That's what we differ. Electricity is in here, but electricity remains everywhere. But Allah is not electricity. No, no, no. Allah is, is electricity. No, he's not. He created electricity. Look, you see, this is what I'm saying to you. You know, you, you want to make Allah nothing. No. We're, no, no, that's what you're doing. We're saying that Allah is everything. That's no, the we, we say Allah your is something. Allah, we Allah say Allah is unique. Is nothing. How? Our Allah is everything. But brother Leo, how? Yes, sir. No, but one second, one second. Before yes, we go sir. to that, yes, one second. But brother, look, you, you, yes, you, you, didn't yes, my, you didn't answer my question. No. One second, no. brother, you didn't answer my question. No, you're not. You didn't answer my question. No, but brother, you didn't answer my question. You didn't answer my question. Yes, sir. The, the, no, but this is very... You didn't answer my question. I said, Surah Ikhlas, how does that contradict... One second, brother. How does that contradict... That, how does that coexist co co with that? He didn't answer my question. You didn't answer my question. No, no, this is unbelievable. This is the reason why, guys, this is the reason why the mushrikeen fell into shirk. Because he's saying we need substance. We have to see Allah. We know the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said anybody that doesn't see Allah and believe in him will enter Jannah. The whole point is what... We don't fall into what the mushrikeen fell into by thinking we need something that we can see. That is shirk. 
And this brother, with all due respect, this is the reason why when it comes to the issue of takfir, we're very careful because I'm not qualified to say someone you're a kafir. But when somebody comes and says Allah is in me or Elijah Muhammad is Allah, this is shirk. You are not a Muslim. I invite these brothers to the true Tawheed of Islam and I invite you as well to Islam, yeah? This is not Islam. We need to make it very clear, brothers and sisters, what these brothers are on, may Allah guide them and might me, this is not Islam. God is not a man. God is not a man. He's not electric. He's not insider. He's not Elijah Muhammad. He's none of these people. So when they come here with the name of, it says in the name of Allah, they've got uh, the Quran there. This is not Islam. So we call these brothers from Nation of Islam back to, back to the true Islam. Tawheed is one. Why do you think we argue with the Christians? We argue with Christians because we're telling them God is not a white man. God is not a white man. They're saying God is a black man. This is shirk. This is shirk. And that's why we argue with Christians like himself and tell them. So it's very funny that when we're trying to engage with them, I ask the simple question. Guys, let me ask a simple question. How do you get Surah Ikhlas and say Elijah Muhammad is Allah? Simple question. Both simple. One plus one is two. You're saying one plus one is 725. So all I'm saying to the brother, he doesn't want to engage. I'm going to wait for him to finish his conversation and I'm going to try to talk to him again. Because did he answer my question? I'm going to wait. I don't want to be respectful. I'm going to wait and I'm going to ask him the question again. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and ask my question. Yes. That's my problem. That's what I'm saying. They believe Elijah Muhammad is incarnate Allah. And this is what the Mushrikeen said. Because they're saying Allah has to be substance. We have to see, touch. I'm listening to you. Brother, calm down. The truth hurts you. What are you saying? Shut up, man. What you're saying. Don't get too gas. Don't get too gas. Don't get too gas. Don't get too gas. Relax yourself. I'm in the speaker's corner. Miraculous things like magic of that nature. Be quiet. Shut man. Be quiet. Through, you're making more noise than me. He can do anything. Anything. Can he become a tree? I would be laughing. Can he become a tree? I would be laughing. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. So, brother Leo, come to Islam. Come to Islam, brother Leo. I know nothing of what happened. Come back to Islam. Come back to the true Islam. Like Malcolm X did, by the way, which were which were assassinated by their group. The nation of Islam executed Malcolm X because Malcolm X went to Hajj and he saw black and white people, and he said, "This is not Islam that I follow." So this is black nationalism black supremacy. Black yes, nationalism supremacy. Come to the true Islam. Just before, just before you ask a question. I'm not going to talk. I'm going to let him finish. I'm going to try to. Just understand this, though. Understand this, yeah. What these guys do, they can't get an audience. Wait, wait. They, they, nobody listens to them. So they've got to come. Alhamdulillah. Uh, come where people are. Alhamdulillah. No problem. And then they've got to try to no get problem. everybody to focus on them. No problem. Yes. Focus it's, on me. It's like yes. a leech. It's focus like, focus like on the heart. Yes. It's actually pathetic no, no. and sad. I asked you a question, that's, brother. That's the, that's the reality. You couldn't answer my question. They've got to come. You where, didn't answer my question. They've got to come where the action is to try and get some action. No, no. There's no action over there. Yes, sir. I'm a big. Uh, it, it, I always find it amazing when I see. So the question from the gentleman to my right here is: How do we feel about Brother Malcolm X some 20 plus years on? Because obviously Malcolm left the nation when he did. Okay, well, Muslim. From our perspective, we love Brother Malcolm. That's our brother. He was made in the nation of Islam. There's a lot of hypocrites around today who want to claim Brother Malcolm. But the Malcolm they're claiming is the Malcolm who was out of the nation for one year. But Malcolm was in the nation for 12 years when he did all of his tremendous work. So what? Now, Malcolm, you know, you should know that there was a big lie that was told. That the members of the nation of Islam murdered Malcolm. But if you're following what's going on in the news today, you will know that those men have now been completely exonerated. And that that was a conspiracy by the United States government, the FBI, the CIA, and New York police finance. This is the reality. The Nation of Islam had nothing to do with the murder of Brother Malcolm. But what the enemy does, 
and his mode of operation never changed. Is it's called divide and rule. If you go back and you look at Cointel Pro, which is the counterintelligence program of J. Edgar Hoover, the transvestite head of the FBI. <laughs> He was, he, he was LGBTQ plus yeah. before they started. But anyway, J. Edgar Hoover said, we must stop the rise of a black messiah. When you look at the documents, the, the, through the Freedom of Information Act, all of the papers have now been released. And you can see where the United States government <coughs> and the FBI, they plan to try to separate Brother Malcolm from his leader and teacher, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. So and in the I end, in the end, they succeed. They okay, the problem is bigger than that. They commit a ship. From the messenger, and then all hell broke loose. Oh, no. And okay. then what they were able to do was to kill Malcolm. The idea was to kill Malcolm, blame the nation, and then we would go to war with ourselves, implode, and that would be the end of the nation of Islam. They failed. The nation is here. We love Brother Malcolm. We love Elijah Muhammad more. Thank you for your question. Yes, sir. You said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is everything. Can Allah be that tree? He created the tree. Can he, he be the tree? He everything. Can he no, be no, no. the tree? He created the tree. Thank you. He if created, he created the, tree. the tree. That means so, he's not so, the hold tree. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Allah is not against tree. Allah doesn't look down on tree. But is he the tree? Is he the tree? Allah created the tree. In other words, he loves the tree. But okay. the tree, Let me, one second, the tree one second, one second. is a part okay. of his creation. Good. The way you're talking is if the tree is some separate and distinct thing that Allah, you know, discards. He loves his creation. Okay. Allah created the horse. Not the disbelievers. He created the dog. He loves all of the creatures. Except the disbelievers. Except the... The, the rebellious devil. Yes. Yes, question. No, he didn't answer. He said, is, can it be a tree? Continue. You, see, you know why? You know why? Because if he says, yeah, then that's the point. Again, you're not answering us. You're not. I'm going to let you finish. I want to have a dialogue with you. Allah is not a tree. Allah is a man. There you go. Can you, can you check this out? I, I wouldn't be like, Allah is not a tree, but he's a man. What's the difference? Why? 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 Why not tree, but man? Why not tree, but man? Why not tree, but man? Thank you. Like Allah says in the Quran, when truth comes, falsehood perishes. I'm asking a simple question. Allah cannot be a tree, I would he can be a man. What's the difference between your Christians? One is a white man, one is a black god. The question from the gentleman here with the grey top, he says, who was Elijah Muhammad? The most honorable Elijah Muhammad, we believe. He's a Dajjal, he's a Dajjal. We believe. He's a Dajjal. Yes. The prophet said, the that job. of the scriptures of the Bible and the Holy Quran. We believe that the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is that man that the whole world talks about, but nobody actually believes will make himself manifest. Yes. We believe that the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is the Christ. He's the judge. The Christ. Oksum Billah is Dajjal. The Prophet said 30 Dajjals will come. He's one of them. He's Dajjal. He's the son of man written of in the Bible. He's Dajjal. We believe that he is the fulfillment of that one who Almighty God Allah empowers to crush the wicked. We believe that this man who was formerly enslaved or a slave is the first begotten of those who slept, is the, is the language of the Bible. Well, that is not Islam. We believe that he well, is Allah, the first is begotten of the dead. It's not Islam. We believe that this man was raised from a spiritually dead condition, which is the condition that most of us as black people who were enslaved found ourselves in. And we believe that this man is the man that the world talks about, but it's just talk. And nobody actually expects to see the manifestation of Christ. Dajjal. Jesus, the Christ. So he's Jesus. One who has the power to crush wicked people. And when Christ manifests, next to him is Mahdi. We believe that this is the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and Master Farad Muhammad, who we believe 
came to us to bring us back it's not Islam. into Islam. It's not Islam. Because we were Muslim. He, we're not Muslim. he took you from kufr to kufr. We're from disbelief Muslim to disbelief. Because we were converted by some sheikh. This from disbelief to disbelief. We are Muslim no, you're not. by nature. No, you're not. Our very nature no, you're not, brother. is Islam. Wallahi, this is not Islam. We are from Wallahi, this is not Islam, brother. That's our Allah Please come made. to the true Islam, brother. Please. But what the enemy did Please. was when he destroyed us I'm not your enemy. in reality, he beat Islam out of us. And now one comes to return us back to our nature. So we don't yes. convert to Islam. We revert back to ourselves. Thank you. Where, where, where are you now? But that's who we believe, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. We believe him to be the Christ. Yes, sir. I have a question. So, you believe all this about Elijah So, why was he never mentioned by the Prophet and the Hadith? And why was he never mentioned in the Quran or anything like that? Well, how do you know? Exactly. He was, he was. No, no. He was, he was mentioned. The Prophet said he's a Dajjal. The, uh, in there's the Prophet Dajjal coming, he was mentioned. In the Old Quran. He is mentioned. In the he is. Quran. Yes. Almighty yes, the Prophet said, there, I think he said 30 um, Dajjals will come. He's one of them. He was mentioned. Musalim al Kadhab, he's one. He's a Dajjal. He's another Dajjal. Dajjal. So you can make the assumption that he is not in the book, but according to our understanding, see again. You're not according to Pokey, are you? Of us, uh, believe, uh, <laughs> religion no, is that we're constantly <laughs> looking back 1,400 years ago, but Allah doesn't sleep. Understand this. And Islam. But Elijah Muhammad slept. Islam. Allah doesn't sleep, but Elijah Muhammad slept. You're not interested in the answer, so we leave your silly question and we go to somebody who's interested. Wallahi, in this is shirk. Wallahi, this is shirk. I have a question if. Uh, I know, I couldn't answer it. Uh, You're so clever, I couldn't answer your question. Go ahead. And the Quran it says Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last messenger of Allah. So how do you believe that he is another messenger? No, he no says, they believe he's Allah. He says. You don't believe he's a messenger. Are you, did you, you asked a question, yes. are you interested in the answer? Yes. Okay, so he says he's the last prophet. Prophet. There are many messengers. Many me uh, Today I'm giving you a message from Allah, whether you accept it or not. I am today acting in the capacity okay. of a messenger. Every Muslim should be a messenger of Allah. I'm trying Unfortunately, to. Unfortunately, we're so busy fighting among ourselves that we got no message to share with anybody. Yes, Why sir. Why am I a white devil? Shut up, you devil. Go ahead. <laughs> Ask your question. <laughs> Ask your question. <laughs> so who should I follow? Elijah Muhammad or Prophet Muhammad? I, I would advise You're not a white devil. We don't believe him, by the way. I, 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 we, we don't believe him, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, You're not. This is not Islam. This is not Islam. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the they have black supremacy movement. Muhammad taught us the beauty and the love of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. We love him, we follow him. You don't follow him. We love him, we follow you him. You don't follow him. And we follow the you one don't. who came to us. Who? Because these Arabs. I'm not Arab, by the way. I'm not Arab. Arab I'm not Arab. Pakistani. I'm not Pakistani either. I'm not Pakistani. I'm not Pakistani either. Came to us. Next, try again. They never came to try us. again. They would sell us pork. They would Are sell pork? us alcohol in their other <laughs> license because they're hypocrites. But the one who's stereotyping me is Elijah Muhammad. And so we love Elijah. We follow Elijah. Yeah. But Elijah yeah. taught us Elijah's about the, the prophet. Elijah's a kafir. And the He's one a kafir. who He's came woke Elijah up, he gave him 103 books. And every single one of those books had something of the like of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him in it, because Elijah had to study the Prophet. He didn't learn anything. Yes, sir. Can a Pakistani um, man join the nation of Islam? Well, he's raising the black supremacist movement. He said, the Prophet said, the black is not superior of a non-black, non, uh, and he's doing the opposite. Are, are you listening to the answer? Or you, yes, please. Or you're listening to your please. Friend? He's not my friend. So, so, yes, sir. Um, if a Pakistani man was to come to us and he demonstrated that he is a Muslim and that he believes in the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, then he becomes our brother in faith. Do you have any Pakistani but, men in the nation? But, but, the, but the moment, the moment he manifests some hypocrisy, or some uh, deviating practice to try to turn us away from our teachings, we say, get thee behind us, Satan. 
I don't know. I don't know. The, we, we have Simple answer, have no, many, brother. We, we, don't apply. We, we, we have many followers, some in Indonesia, some in Pakistan. The reason I say I don't know, because I don't know one personally, but we have followers in every walk of life all over the planet. We've got Europeans who follow the teachings, white people, who love the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad in Europe. Wallahi, look at this. He, he may, brother, he mentioned Elijah Muhammad more than the Prophet Muhammad. No, Elijah, Elijah, Elijah. Why am I a devil, though? You're not a devil. Yeah, I you're not, you're not a devil. Make mischief. I look after what? people who've got learning difficulties. No, you're not. You're why, not. Am I, why am I for mischief when I look after Because you're white. He's racist. He's racist. Because you're white. I can't I join your nation of Islam. I didn't say you can't. He couldn't. can't. He said you can't. Wait, wait, wait. But let's say I follow. I follow Allah and his messenger. I, I, didn't I choose not. I choose that. You know, I follow them more than I follow Elijah Muhammad. Yeah. What can I do? Simple answer. Hold on. Hold on. Listen. 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 La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger. No, we call them. So they clear. They clear until they start talking. To say that the Muslim and we are not one. Yeah, stop recording. Is it? So why would you want to come into this circle to to play game? No, we don't. We don't deal with game playing here. So go to your mosque. Pray to Allah and be a good Muslim. Huh? Don't waste time. Open, open. I don't want to be, sure. to be a mischief maker, desirous of coming in here among black people who have been through a particular reality, a particular history that we deal with. Please understand this. Well, this is not to the realization this, this that not, white uh, people are devils. This is not a game. Because misguided. Tell you go here and go I'm there. You go wherever you want to go. Do what you want to do. But you no, he can't. We are very clear. We, 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 um, we are Muslims. We don't need him or anybody to endorse us. You're not. Say, oh yeah, we recognize you. We don't want your. If you're a Muslim, then the Christians are Muslims as well. We we they are Muslims as well. The Mushrikeen are Muslims as well. Everybody's a Muslim. To recognize us or to endorse us. No way. We take our recognition and our endorsement from Almighty God. Any question? No. Yeah. Predicted the deviation from the Sharab al Most Muslims today, most Muslims today, they speak Allah from their lips, but they are not following the Prophet. Yeah, same, you are. We, 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 we You're think, doing that. We think that the Sunnah is using a mishwak or yeah, I know. a jalabiyah yeah, or a kufi yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. a beard. Yeah, it's true. That's not the Sunnah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, true, true. If you don't follow the Sunnah, how do you follow the Sunnah? question? Me. No, no, no question, no, please. No, 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 no question, no. finish. Don't waste the time. Can we have a dialogue? Can we have a dialogue? Uh, no, sir. Why not? Come here for a dialogue. Why not? Why not? I came why are you afraid? Why, 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 why not? Why not? Anybody else? No, nobody else. If there's no one else, yes. then we will conclude our remarks for today. We thank Allah for the blessing of life. We thank Allah for giving the black man back life today. What about the white man? A life that the, that's what you hate. What about the a white man? Of course I hate racism. What about the white man? You keep calling him devil. Many other people this is not Islam, by the way. Never thought we have no problem with you. You will see a black man. It's Islam that is there. Why is Islam? Now we talk rubbish. It's and truth, doing for <laughs> <laughs> Because Islam doesn't say a white man. What Islam. I always say. You are idiot. Is when yes. you take a break. It's, it's black, black supremacy. Among a pack of dogs, only the dog who gets it yelps. 
Only the dog who gets hit by the brick starts barking. It's black supremacy. And so you will hear a lot of noise. Who are you referring to as dog? You will hear a lot of noise, <laughs> but it makes no difference. The reality is this. The black man was trodden to, to the, the ground. Black man. White man. Allah yeah. doesn't say that. You don't want to hear about the black man. Stop go away, man. Go away. The black man. God doesn't have a security like you. Why are you here? You believe God really? Why you believe God? If you believe God, you believe God. 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 If you there's no salam to the disbelievers, brother. There's no salam to the disbelievers. Yeah, I'm going to try to speak to him. Would you have a dialogue? I'm going to try to speak to him. He was a he was a very beautiful human being. He was a very very special What's your name, sir? Brother Leo, can we have a discussion? No, sir. No, sir. But you didn't ask the question on Surah Ikhlas. I just want to have a discussion with him. I just want to, you know, because at the end of the day, he didn't ask a question when it comes to Surah Ikhlas. So the thing is, why is he running away? If he's on the truth, he should easily come and convince me why Elijah Muhammad is Allah incarnated or thing. But he doesn't want to talk. Brother Leo, let's leave Brother Leo. Brother Leo, can we can we not talk? Right, Allah. Brother Leo, what you said didn't didn't answer the question of Surah Ikhlas. Brother, do you really believe this Islam? Listen, do you really believe this Islam? He told you the truth. Yeah. Do you believe this Islam? I wouldn't be here, would I? Okay, my brother. How does Surah Ikhlas? Listen, listen. He told you the truth. Which was? What he told you? Explain your question. Which was? Oh, which was, brother? No, no, no. But then you weren't listening. Do you believe Allah no, is incarnated in Elijah? Listen, yeah. listen, he didn't say nothing about reincarnation. Okay. Right? But he won't dialogue with you if you can't understand a basic concept. Well, ask him Surah Ikhlas, brother. You know Surah Ikhlas. Listen, of course I do. Okay. Right? Listen, you're that. No, because you don't understand. Okay. Right? Simple words. I understand. Really simple. Okay. But because you've got a preconception okay. of what you believe is true. Okay. So, it's okay, really pointless in debating. Then, brother, how do we debate? the Christian when they say Jesus is a God. When they, when they say Jesus, they say Jesus. Yeah, yeah, they say no, no, but we debate with them, we say we explain. I know, but what's the difference between you guys and them? If you don't understand it, after you've been standing here. But I asked him Surah Ikhlas, he goes against Surah Ikhlas, brother. You're giving the attribute of Allah to Elijah Muhammad. Elijah Muhammad was a man, he died. He's, he's not God, he's not Allah. Who did, Allah, who did Prophet Muhammad say he's a messenger of? Messenger of Allah so subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah, but Yahweh. did Allah come to... So no, but from Angel Gabriel. Right. Brother Leo, brother Leo, brother Leo. Listen, listen. If Allah listen, can listen, come listen, in Angel Gabriel, okay. why can't he come in Elijah Muhammad? He didn't come from Angel He sent the messenger. You think Angel Gabriel is uh, Allah? Do you believe Angel Gabriel is Allah? You really don't understand. One second. Do you believe Allah is Angel Gabriel? I just told you. I asked him. Did Prophet Muhammad say? Yes. On the message of Allah, but he got the message of Angel Gabriel. Who taught him? Allah. To Angel Gabriel. Angel Gabriel. So Allah came in the in Angel Gabriel. Do you believe that? Of course I do. So, so Allah came in the form of Angel Gabriel. This is weird. You're not Muslim, brother. May Allah guide you to Islam. That's not Islam, brother. It can't be. So, brother, you can't even ask a simple question. Shirk, shirk. Allah, Allah is not an angel. He's not a man. He's not in his creation. He's the creator. He's the creator. What's that? The creator. What is that? Uncreated. There is nothing like unto him. Allah is So, in order for me to worship him, he has to be a being. Come on, brother. Are you telling me I have to see Allah? I have to like. Allah exists without me seeing. 
even in your madness. Yeah, I'm not madness. Can, no, no. I can see Allah in you. You can see Allah in me. You can say that. What I'm saying is the speech of like Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that I'm conveying. But you can't say that. Yeah. He's in all his creation. No, he's not. That's not. No, that's 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 not. That's not. That's not. That's not we say his. We, we say his knowledge. Is it evil? What about toilet? What about toilet? What about toilet? See, you're being stupid. It's a toilet person. Sorry. It's a toilet person. No, but he said in everything. In everything. Yes, but he doesn't. It's his best creation, but he becomes his creation. Come on, brother. Come on. And the lecture you gave was about family. Why has he taken Brother Leo Mohammed? Brother Leo, can we speak? No, sir, no, sir. Why, why not? Brother Leo. Brother Leo. We want to ask one question. Come back. Brother Leo, why are you asking? But I can see you guys, it's, I mean, I tried, I tried to speak to him, but they don't want to. It's basically, he's here to preach and go. And we see this behavior with the Christians. Why? Because they don't really have a backbone. So I ask simple question. You claim, Eli, let's move over here. Let's see you guys now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so basically, yeah, I just wanted to speak to him because at the end of the day, this nation has got nothing to do with Islam. They are not, they're not Muslims. Uh, and I'm very careful to do and to clear to people because this is we need to be very careful because we have brothers here in the park who call people innovators, innovators. They're not unqualified individuals, ignoramuses. So with, when it comes to calling a a Muslim a kafir, it's very dangerous. My teachers warn me against this, so I'm very very careful. But when you have somebody who says that Allah incarnated, yeah, or came as Elijah Muhammad, that is shirk. Now, if you listen to him very carefully, what did he say? He said, you, you guys worship nothing. Meaning that he's saying, and this is exactly what the mushrikeen fell into shirk. Because they are saying, we can't see Allah. That's why we need to make our demigods, a small god, so we can touch and feel them. Yeah? This is the reason why the Muslims will enter Jannah, inshallah. Why? Because we believed in Allah without seeing Allah. That is the whole point. So what they're saying is, oh, what's the substance? Oh, electric, Allah is electric. Allah is in you. Allah is this. So you can clearly see he talks about shaitan, but the shaitan is going from the jugular vein. Because what is the first thing shaitan attacks you with? Shirk. The first thing shaitan wants is shirk in you. Because when you die in shirk, it's hellfire. And if you can't do shirk, he'll get you to innovation. If your innovation major sense. So this brother, he keeps talking about shaitan, shaitan, shaitan. But he himself sadly is following in the footsteps of shaitan. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide the nation of Islam back to the true Islam like brother Malcolm X did. Because wallahi, they are racist. They are they're committing shirk. They're giving the asma wa sifat, Allah's names and attributes to the creation. And subhanAllah, this is far from Islam. He's even saying that Elijah Muhammad or Farah Muhammad, what his name is, is the Christ. All against Islam, it's got nothing to do with Islam. We try to talk, we try to dialogue, it doesn't want nothing to do with it. That's it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yes. 